Robin Hooper and I will be painting with you on Thursday night. I wanted to say a big, big thank you for your support. I'm so grateful that we've had so many people to participate on Thursday. I think that's wonderful. I love the idea of getting into our little bubbles and still building a little bit of community while still staying safe. We all need our kids to stay in school and schools to stay open. So this is our way to paint and build a little bit of community while still staying safe. I thought that I would walk you through the materials that you would have received. And that way, if by chance you don't have something in your bag and I've made a mistake, I still have um, a couple days to get them to you. So what you'll get in your kit is a 14 by 18 cotton stretched canvas. Um, you might just have to unwrap it. You will also have three paint brushes, uh, a big one for our background to create some nice brush strokes, and two smaller ones, a medium and a small one. And both of these brushes can give you a really thin line. Uh, if you keep this flat brush at 90 degrees on your canvas, it will give you a nice thin line. You can always practice on the side and, and this one as well. If you go really gently along your canvas, you'll be able to get a nice thin line. You'll also have a plate to mix your colors, a cup. Make sure you have some clean water on hand so that we can rinse in between our colors. And you will have gotten um, six colors wrapped up in tin foil. Just be careful as you unwrap those. These little ounce cups are pretty sturdy, but I wrap them up in tin foil just in case. Uh, my suggestion would be to um, to leave them in these cups and not to put them on the plate that you're using. Not until you're ready, but. That way it, it saves the paint. You have so much paint, actually. Uh, and I think that you probably could do a couple more after, after we've done these. If you wanted to go out and get some more canvases, I think it'd be really neat if this inspired you to do some more painting. So I'll put this to the side and I wanted to show you, um, we have a pumpkin scene that is one of our step-by-step -step paintings in this fall tree. That is one of our step-by-step -step paintings. You can do either of these, both um, landscape or portrait. That's just the size. It depends where it's gonna fit. You can change the colors, which is why I've given you um, the three primary colors, black and white and pink. Pink is there in case you want some purple. Uh, if you use this red and blue, that's provided. It gives you a really deep, earthy purple. So I've given you the pink in case you want more of a vibrant, um, whimsical purple. And, and I think that's it. You also could paint anything you want. I'll be walking you through these two paintings so that you have a step-by-step -step guide. But I also painted up some other ideas. If you wanted like a spooky house to decorate for Halloween, uh, wanted to paint the, the upcoming full moon that's coming on 27th or just a fall selection of flowers. You also could go online and find any painting that you want. We chose the pumpkin and the fall tree to walk you through but um, if you wanted help on the night you could always use the chat feature and send me a photo and I can walk you through something of your own. I want to be as uh, much help to you as I can because that way you can get a painting up in your house that's created by you and I just think that's wonderful. I think we are all creative. We are so quick to say, oh, I'm not artistic. I couldn't draw a straight line. I couldn't draw a stick figure. All those silly things and that we hear and we believe even as young children, even when I taught foundation, um, I, I found kids who would come in at, at three or four years old and they're like, I can't do this. But who told you that? Why do you believe it? You know, we believe these things because we've internalized them, but um, 
you have to give yourself a little bit of a break. Be your own best cheerleader and you just, if you're giving it a go and you're having fun, that's all that matters. So I hope you really enjoy your time on Thursday and I hope you um, enjoy your creativity. I'm so, so grateful that you are going to be painting with us on Thursday. I want to say a big thank you to Michelle Dunleavy and the whole team at the Social Saltus Association. It's so great that they put this together for all of us. Um, and I, again and again, I'm, I'm so grateful for your support to Saltus. This is a great school. They are a great place to work. And I know that the students there have a great place to learn and grow and develop. So I'm really looking forward to Thursday and I hope you will reach out if you're missing something and reach out if you have any questions. Please feel free to keep your cameras on on the night so that we can see each other and have um, fun while we're going at this. I will see you Thursday. Thanks so much. Bye for now.